Hi, I'm Ryan Kwas with Griplock Systems. Today I'm going to show you how to easily install track lighting on a standard drop ceiling and a standard drywall ceiling. First, let's start with what we need for the job. A drill, some drill bits, a level, wire strippers, a pair of cable cutters, Phillips head screwdriver, a stud finder, bushing pliers, and a tape measure. For each suspension point, we're going to be using 1 16th galvanized cable. On the power feed side, we're going to be using Griplock Architectural Power Feed Kit at the drop ceiling. This kit comes with bracket bar, a quarter 20 by one inch stud, five inch canopy with center hole, and a power feed hole. Two bushings to match cord and power feed hole, quarter 20 slip ring coupler, power cord, one cable tie per foot and cable. We will also use a stabilizing rod and 15Z 832SR8 gripper. We're also gonna be dropping another non-power feed suspension point from the T-grid. We're gonna be attaching the cable to the drywall ceiling with two part coupler and toggle bolt. We're going to be using the same gripper with stabilizing rod at the track. This is our four foot section of track. Some tracks have slots or pre-drilled holes. You can also drill your own hole wherever you need them. With the slots, they'll come with a connector. If you don't have the connector, you can use the pre-drilled hole or your own hole. Next, we're going to install the grippers into the track. These grippers have an 832 internal thread, which come with an 832 screw that we can run through the pre-drilled holes we already have in our track. This gripper also has an M4 external thread on the plunger that we can thread the stabilizing rod onto. We use the stabilizing rods to prevent the track from tilting due to the weight of the track heads. We're going to use the same grippers with stabilizing rods throughout. Now let's get to the ceiling hardware. Before we get started, make sure your power shut off an electrical panel through the junction box. The first thing we're going to want to do is install the bracket bar to the junction box itself. Next, we're going to feed the cable through the cable coupler. Then we're going to attach Griplock's patented slip ring cable coupler to the one inch stud. For one of your non-power feed suspension points, if you're hanging from the grid, you can use one of our T-bar clips that twist right on. Or you can use our wraparound style if you need added support. In this case, we use one of the ceiling grommets, as you can see here. Uh, the reason for these ceiling grommets is so that you can run the cable through the tile without having an unsightly hole. So when installing one of our ceiling grommets, mark your position on the ceiling tile and simply push the grommet through the tile. Next, you'll need to suspend the cable from something structural above. Wrap the cable around a beam or a piece of unistrut. Then just simply feed the cable through the grommet. When hanging a non-power feed suspension system from a drywall ceiling, we're going to use a two-part cable coupler. There's two ways to do this. You can run a wood screw directly through it right into the joist in the ceiling. If you can't hit the joist, you can use a toggle bolt. First, drill a hole in the ceiling for the toggle. Next, feed the toggle through the hole and pull down tight. Then, screw the bolt into the toggle until the coupler is flush with the ceiling. Next, we're going to feed the cable through the cap and then screw the cap onto the coupler. The next two suspension points we're going to hang are just like this one. Then, we're going to hang the lighting track. Now that we have all our cables hung, we're going to go ahead and suspend the light track. Uh, we're first going to start with the power feed suspension point. So, we're going to feed the cable through the canopy and use the slip ring on the coupler to secure the canopy to the ceiling. The great thing about this coupler design is we can go ahead and secure the canopy to the ceiling. And we, when we need to connect the power later on, we can drop the canopy down without disconnecting the cable suspension. Now we can go ahead and feed the cable through the stabilizing rod, feed it through the gripper, then we can go ahead and set the height where we need it to be and tighten up the stabilizing rod. And then where it stops, it locks. And then we'll go ahead and hang all the other suspension points just like this one. So we're at our last suspension point and we're just making sure everything's level. Looks like I gotta raise it up just a little bit. And then if I go a little too far, I can just drop it back down just a hair. And you can see how easy that is with these grippers. So once we have it level, let's have to lock down the stabilizing rod and cut off the excess cable. Leave yourself about an inch or so, just for safety. Once we got that cut, we just have to run the power and connect the lamps. So it's that easy. Now we have our light track up and we showed you how to hang it from both the drop ceiling and the drywall ceiling. For other applications, go to our website at griplocksystems.com.